Hello Richard, and welcome to today's episode of The Basement Woodworker, or In The Basement. And I'm trying to make four bowtie keys out of mahogany that I have sanded down this big board. Um, and I'm trying to cut, yeah, like I said, these bow ties out of. It's quite hard, is my conclusion so far. Because these are keys for these bow tie joints that I'm doing for Helen's desk, I really want them to be super clean and super precise so that I could potentially have a very clean key and hole. I don't know, I mean, like, you know what I mean, super precise, um, edge, you're probably not going to be able to see, but I'm doing an okay job using a knife wall technique that Paul Seller uses, where he scores in the point that he, the, the exact edge that he wants with the knife as deeply as he can, with just like a, a carpentry knife, love that, um, and then that knife cut becomes the edge essentially because you then chisel out the excess, which you can see an extreme version of here. Um, this originally was a knife wall that I have then continued to um, use the chisel down um, and then pair in to the new chisel cut. But I've tried lots of different things to try and make this work now because it's quite a tough thing to, once you've got that the knife wall, to, if you try and saw with a saw that bends, like this one, then on the front and back pass, often you kind of graze this knife wall that you've made, which completely invalidates the wall that you've just made because it then is rough and you've made a very clean wall that you then just grazed with a saw and now isn't a clean wall. But if you use the dovetail saw, you get better technique, you get better results, but because the saw, because the saw is in bendy, because it has a spine and is really thin, but because it has a spine, because these dovetail, because these um, keys are so big, you can't get all the way down to the midline. Also a problem. So then I tried using the chisel and chiseling down and then paring out. And I think that will work. It just takes a long time and also it's difficult to get a straight line down. So those are all the things I've been trying in various ways. I'm sure, like, the thing is, I've got to do four of them. Um, so I've almost done one. It takes a while. Um, and I would like to do it slightly faster than I'm currently doing it. But it's possible that that's not possible while maintaining such a clean edge. So that's what I'm doing in my basement at the moment. Other than that, that's that's the that's the that's the that's the woodwork as of yet. Um other than that, you ran this weekend, that was good. We played some Wii Sports golf. I've become more into it than I probably would like to admit. I never used to play this golf. I've played it twice now. Once last time you're here, and then a second time, yeah, like yesterday. Why oh, so good? I got five under par on the course, which was good. As um, Winston Churchill, he's a good golfer. Um, so that was good. Watched a couple of good movies. Well, watched a good one and a bad one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre turns out people really love it, but we thought it was terrible. Too much screaming, not very scary, not that interesting. Um, but we watched Color Out of Space with Nick Cage, and he delivered a Nick Cage performance, and so you cannot be upset by that. Nice. Um, that's all. I'll uh, catch you on the flip side. Stay old.